Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Today is the very, very last video for the Unicorn Dreams Blanket Crochet Along and we are going to be making this absolutely beautiful rainbow border with the pretty scalloped edge. If this is your first visit to my channel, it would be amazing if you just took a moment to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. Now, if you haven't already grabbed the free written PDF pattern to accompany this border, then please do so. It is available on Lisa's website, Cute Crochet Makes, which I've linked to in the description box below. There are also timestamps in the description box below, which means you can click the numbers, which will take you to that part of the video immediately, so you can cut out any information that you don't necessarily need. Now this border is super duper versatile. It would work beautifully on a whole range of blankets. I really, really love it. And it is surprisingly fast to work up when you're doing these colored striped rows. Now I am using the six squares that I joined with the flat braid join method. So this is just a small sample of how your overall blanket will look. All right, let's jump straight on in to how to crochet this absolutely lovely rainbow border. All right, so I'm just gonna remove my stitch marker from where I left this on the table. I get a lot of questions about my stitch markers, actually. Um, I get my stitch markers from What Mustard Made. She's based here in the UK and she hand makes all her little stitch markers. Um, I will actually link to her in the description box below because so many of you guys ask about my stitch markers on all my videos. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. So continuing on from the flat braid join, we last left this at the join, slip stitch join to the uh, very first chain of your initial beginning. So this is my tail right from that end. So we are continuing with this same strand of white and you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that chain three space. Now you're going to chain two, which counts as your first half double crochet. And you're going to pop another half double crochet into that chain three space. Now you're going to place two half double crochet in the next chain three space. Two half double crochet in the next chain three space. And you're going to continue placing two half double crochets in these chain three loops all the way along. So keep going two half double crochet in each of your chain three loops and I will meet you at the far corner. So when you reach your chain five corner spaces, you're going to place two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet all into that same chain five space to form the corner. So continue all the way around your blanket, two half double crochet in each of your chain three loops and in the corners, two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet. And when you get all the way back to where you started, end on your corner with two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet, and then slip stitch to join to that initial chain two, and then grab candy floss, and I will meet you for the second round of the border. So I'm just finishing up my final corner in the white. And I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that initial chain two. 
then cut your white leaving a decent length to weave in pull that through and then we're going to join candy floss to any corner that you so wish i'm just going to go ahead and join candy floss into this corner here so all my ends are in the same place Now you're going to chain two, which counts as your first half double crochet. Pop another half double crochet into that same corner space, then chain two and add two more half double crochet to complete that corner. Now you're going to chain one, skip that first stitch, pop a half double crochet in the next chain one skip a stitch half double crochet in the next and you're going to do that all the way around the blanket chain one miss one half double crochet do that all the way around and in your corners two half double crochet chain two two half double crochet meet me back here in just a moment so we can finish the round together. All right, once you reach the end, you're going to slip stitch to the top of that initial chain two space, then fasten off that color. And you should have half double crochet, chain one with skipping a stitch in between and in the corners, two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet, all the way around your blanket, or in my case, my small stamp sample of just six squares. Oops, I have not got anywhere near enough room on this table for such huge squares. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and join our next colour, which is apricot, and just like before, join it into your chain two corner space. So with apricot joined in your corner, we're going to start the same way, chain two, which counts as your first half double crochet half double crochet into that space, chain two, and two more half double crochet into that same corner space. Now you're going to chain one and place your half double crochet into this chain one space from the row below. So into your chain one space, pop a half double crochet chain one half double crochet into that chain one space chain one half double crochet into the chain one space do this all the way along and in your corners two half double crochet chain two, two half double crochet. So keep going, half double crochet into the chain one space from the row below and then chain one. So in your corners, two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet. chain one and work into those chain one spaces. Keep going round and I'll meet you back at the beginning to show you how to finish off this round. All right, so I am approaching the end of this apricot row. So to finish, chain one, 
and slip stitch to the top of your initial chain two right from the very beginning and fasten off. Pull that through. Now you're going to repeat this apricot row five more times. So five more times, the next color being lemon, then spring green, then sherbet, then clematis, and then wisteria. So five more times round with your other colors, and then meet me back here and we can do the very pretty white scalloped row. All right, that is my final half double crochet round with all the colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip this yarn, leaving a decent tail for weaving in afterwards. So by the end of all those rows, you should have a really pretty, I cannot get all mine in shot, of course, a really pretty half double crochet, chain one with nice neat corners, border going on. So now for the last two rounds, they are going to be done in white. So go ahead and join white into this top corner. So you're going to chain one, which counts as your first single crochet, and then place another single crochet into that chain two space. Chain two, and then place two more single crochet into that chain two space. So that forms your corner. Then we're going to place a single crochet in every half double crochet and every chain space all the way along. So in every stitch and every chain space, place a single crochet and in the corners, you're going to place two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. Go all the way around and then join me back here in just a moment and we can do the final scallop row. So don't forget you're placing your single crochet into the chain one space as well. Okay, to end the row, you're going to slip stitch to your very first chain, which counted as your first single crochet. Slip stitch into the next stitch. It's almost impossible to see. And then slip stitch into that chain two space itself. So you basically are slip stitching along those stitches there to end up in the chain two corner space here. So you've gone all the way round with your single crochet in every stitch and chain space all the way along and in the corners you have two single crochet chain two two single crochet so now we can begin the shell row so this is the final row of your blanket so chain two which counts as your first double crochet and then into this chain two corner space you're going to place six double crochet all into that same tiny, tiny space. So you have your chain two and six double crochet stitches. You're going to skip two single crochet, one, two, and place a single crochet into that third stitch. Skip two stitches, and in that third stitch, place five double crochet, all into the same stitch.
skip two stitches, single crochet in the third. So you're going to repeat this tiny little shell section, skip two stitches, five double crochet in the next, skip two stitches, single crochet to anchor that shell down. So repeat this all the way along the top edge, skip two single crochet, five double crochet in the next, skip two single crochet, skip two, five double crochet, skip two single crochet, all the way along and I'll meet you on this far corner over here in just a moment. At the very end of the row, when you've done all your sort of scallops, you'll only have one stitch left before your chain two space. That's absolutely fine. So instead of skipping two, we're only going to be skipping one. And in this chain two corner space, put seven double crochet all into that same place. So that's seven to turn the corner and then again skip two, anchor with a single crochet, skip two, five double crochet, all the way around with seven double crochet in the corners. So keep going round and I will meet you right back at the very beginning to finish off this scallop edge row. To end your shells, you're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two where you started, snip that end, look with horror at all the ends you have yet to weave in. But overall, you can celebrate that you are done. That was the last stitch of your Unicorn Dreams blanket. I really hope that you enjoyed all these tutorials. Huge thanks to Lisa for allowing me to film all her amazing patterns. So at the end of all this, I am going to give my blanket, obviously not this small sample, but when I join my full sized blanket that I'm doing with all my other squares, I'm definitely going to block it at the end to open up this really pretty flat braid join and just to make sure everything is lying flat and square and perfect. So let me know in the comments what you think of this really pretty border. It can be used on so many blankets. It's super versatile and of course a gorgeous rainbow. It's almost like a rainbow with little fluffy clouds. I absolutely love it. So whilst I go and grab myself a large glass of wine <laughs> to celebrate the end of this absolutely mammoth, mammoth, crochet along project. Let me know in the comments how you're going to celebrate finishing your Unicorn Dreams blanket. <laughs> so until next time, happy crocheting! <laughs>